Uh, very early season. Let's talk about the eye catchers now. Very early season, but a really important game for uh, for South. Pressure on the bunnies, particularly the coach Jason Demetrio. Um, it's been a tough week for him, but last season, the season well, the back half of the year, their season really collapsed. And 0-2 to start this year. They've won four of the last 15 games with a side of this class and capability. You know, it's a long way from good enough. Uh, it's funny, I expected the, the Bunnies to really to recalibrate during the off-season, but a lot of the same errors as last year. The things that are hurting them last year, hurting them again this year. Well, yeah, we sound like broken records, but uh, it's their defence. If they can get their defence right, which they did the first, first half of last year, they're averaging more than, I think it's about 26, 28 points a, a game. You can't be doing that if you want to do anything in this, in this competition. So... Just hopefully, yeah. I mean, they've got a new halfback, this young kid, Dean Hawkins, coming in. Mm. Huge pressure on him. Do you know That's much it. about him, Fletch? I know he's, only, he's played half a dozen games. He's been really good in New South Wales Cup. I think yeah. he's been the player of the year. So he's been knocking on the door. Mm. Um, yeah, well, but it's a huge ask going out there. We'll have a talk We'll have a talk about him get the ball. In, in, in a second. But we said, like, difficult week for the coach, Jason Demetrio. Yeah. A lot of noise going on. You know, it's the early Bunnies. Well, it is. It's early days. It is. They, 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 but they it's some good teams, Matty. Yeah, yeah. They, they but that's it. Calm down it's a the com it's the, but what it what? is, it's the calm pressure down. after last what season. Yeah. You know, and there's no doubt about it. Uh, and then, you know, I mean, the timing couldn't have been worse with Joshy Mansour and all that sort of stuff. There's just a lot of noise going on at the moment in and around he and, the, he and the Bunnies. Yeah, well, this is a challenge for them. The players need to stand up. I think, I know we're going to talk about Jack White in, in a second. Him going in the team is going to help Luttrell out because that was one of the reasons why he went. Yep. You know, Luttrell, we need, we, South Sydney need yeah. Luttrell at his oh, best. Absolutely. And I think that, having yeah. Jack White oh. there, yeah. I think Jack is going to be a big influence on the trip. I think it'll be, yeah, big confidence boost. Mm. Just his presence out in the field. Uh, yeah, Roosters Bunnies, all outstanding. Some really key factors in this one. I tell you, it's, got, it's got the smell of a bit of an upset, Fletch. Firstly, a couple of things. Long turnaround versus short turnaround. Bunnies have had, got an eight-day turnaround. Yep. The Roosters, five days. And it could be tricky for the Roosters because I actually thought the Roosters looked a little flat against Manly on Sunday. So that could be a factor. Uh, yeah, they didn't have much ball. I think they made 100 more tackles than Manly. Again, it was an error a thon from the, from the Chooks. Um, no Luke Keary is a big, loss. a big loss. But on the other side, Jared's 300. Yeah. So you can imagine yeah. what Robbo and the rest of the team... Because Jared is the alpha male at that, at that side. Yeah. He's very well liked, very well respected. So they don't want to let him down. Yeah, one of the big talking points of the week, Lachlan Milius being dropped. Young Dean Hawkins comes in. Terrific young football. I've seen him play for a couple of years. The standout player in New South Wales Cup. Far and away. He was the player of the year last year. Yeah, clever footballer. Uh, without a doubt, boys, biggest game of his career. Great opportunity for him. Well, he needs some help. He needs, I mean, yeah. Lachlan Ilias has been the fall guy. Or some, but I think the biggest thing for young Dean Hawkins is just get his kicking game and his defence right. Don't worry about anything yeah. else because he's going to get targeted. At the moment, their kicking game is diabolical. Mm. They're not kicking... I don't know what they're doing. It's not long, it's not short. It just seems to be sort of... Mm. They're not putting much pressure Second on so, yeah. And Fletch, what have you heard about Cook maybe going back, starting yeah, off the bench? Yeah, they said, yeah, he's going to um, he's gonna come off the bench. So I don't know whether that's a bit of a rev up or he's just mm. thinking... Uh, it's gonna, the they're going to get a bit tired, get him out of dummy half. On, yeah, on yeah. a lot of note with young Dean Hawkins, of course, it's been well documented. He, when he was a young bloke, he started his own YouTube channel called Footy Dean, doing tips. Anyway, poor bugger forgot the, pa uh, the passcode, so he hasn't been able to take it down. Yeah, and it's all this. Boys. So the South, the South boys just keep digging this stuff up. This is pretty good, this. That's, that's very good. And this one here. Oh, excellent. That's good. That's pretty good. Uh, as you said, Jack Whiten back into the side. Uh, play left centre. Going to be a big boost. Big out for the Bunnies. Your 7 4 is, is, is Luke Keary. Sandon Smith goes into the halves. I tell you what, boys, in terms of taking his career to the next level, I think it's a really big game for Sammy Walker. Yeah, it's, well, it's going to have to be. He's going to have to be the one leading the side around for the whole game. But I, I do like Sandon Smith. I think yeah. I think he's, he's creative. He's, he's got that bit of zip about him. And I think you want the hands on the ball too. He won't be one of those blokes who's going to sit back and, and wait for the ball to come to him. He'll go looking for it. I don't. And it, he'll he'll swap sides. It doesn't matter with him. So Which means Brandon Smith will probably play close to 80 minutes. He, he's going to have to. He, yeah. He, yeah. He's yeah. been week. He got short. It was strange. Yeah, yeah. it was. He, yeah. he came off at half just for half time and didn't get back on with that 10 minutes to go. I don't know whether. I thought he was. I thought he was really strong. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know whether that was a plan by Robbo, but 
Um, no, this game tomorrow. Throw the form line out the window because it's going to be on. Fist, fisty cuffs. I hope so. Do you reckon it could get pretty wild? I mean, there's a lot at stake. It's only, JW, as you said earlier, I think in you'll the see, crowd. I reckon Jared will <laughs> fire up. <laughs> yeah. You'll you be ready to go, Fletch? No, I'm not. I'm not I told you I'm in the box. We all make it down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm saying the hatred, obviously the players, you know. Yeah. Is it that much hatred? You it's play both players, sides. It's the fans. And yeah. you feed off it. The yeah. fans hate each other. Like, I've got mates who follow South and East, and they won't talk this week. Yeah, wow. Like, seriously. <laughs> like, grow up, Beast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Beast's got enough problems. Oh, <laughs> haven't we all? <laughs> oh, God, I can't get off the couch. <laughs> Fair dinkum. Um, mate, uh, Gordy, JWH. Yeah. Yeah. 300 games, given the position he plays and how he plays it, pretty remarkable. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and he's... He's one of those players, like, look at that. He's put his body on the line, 300 games in the middle. We've watched some tough guys in the middle. It's, it's bloody hard to get to 300, 17 years. But he's one of those guys that, that I think he's had, like, a Joey influence on a side that when he doesn't play, the Roosters aren't the same side. He's, I, 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 think, I, think, I think every forward that's ever played with him thinks they're tougher when he's in the pack. There's yeah. no doubt that they feel like they've got a bit more courage. That's what Jared. Would bring Petro, to this footy I think Petro's only other front row. Is he yeah, 300? Jesse yeah. Bromwich. Oh, Jesse. Yeah. Okay, I'm out. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Gerard. <laughs> Jeff Gerard. Aiden oh, Tolman. Proper, proper front row, I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. well, proper Harry, front Harry Bath, actually. Uh, oh, right. Uh, uh, so yeah, yeah, Petro was my favourite. That's why I did uh, right, no, right, it. Gordy right, here reckon wins. Look, I think Roosters. Hey, guys, he said. He thinks so, when he, they, he didn't announce that they've won. Yeah. Okay. So oh, no, I, just think, I just think the way they started the year, they've just got a bit more substance, like, and their attack seems to be better, and they're defending well. And South, you know, as you said, you throw the form out, but it's a, you know, it's a big challenge. I, but I smell an upset, Fletch. Yeah. Do you, South? <coughs> smell an upset. Chooks will, Chooks will frustrate them. They'll get frust. South will get really frustrated once again. They'll throw the <coughs> out of the cot. Jackie Whiten will be obviously a massive bonus, but I don't think they'll have enough to go with the Chooks, the Bunnies. OK. Mm. Chooks, for me, by two. Yeah. Angus Cry, the score. Get on. They're right. OK.